Hey guys, uh, welcome to your singles love reading. This is going to be for Aries, okay? Uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for May 2022. So these are for the Aries that are currently not dealing with anyone, okay? Living their life, perhaps finding a potential new love. So we're just going to take a look at what's currently going on with you guys, your over energies regarding love. And then we'll take a look at your current blockages and challenges in finding love. And then uh, we'll see uh, what else you guys need to know and what's coming towards you, okay? Um, so apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, if this message resonates, keep in mind that these are collective Aries messages for the collective Aries people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular, I'm tapping into the collective Aries. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situation, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. I can't get any more specific than a private personal reading, okay? So the link for uh, uh, to book is in the description box below, okay? So Aries, let's get started. What messages do we have here for the singles Aries? What is currently going on with the singles Aries? Over energies for singles Aries regarding love for May 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, signs for Aries. All right. the two of swords and with the ace of cups ace of pentacles and the moon so cancer pisces energy with that moon card you might have those energies in your chart you could have been dealing with those energies past present or future and the six of swords and the knight of wands Seems like right now you're not really open to love. Seems like you could be keeping to yourself, working on yourself, perhaps working on your shadow side here, perhaps working on your pentacles, just taking care of yourself. I mean, that Ace of Cups could represent just you taking care of yourself, showing yourself self-love, but there is the energy of moving forward or moving on or something like that, okay? So right now, perhaps Aries, you're in this energy of just enjoying your freedom. Perhaps you guys are traveling a lot right now, okay? Um, it, yeah, it just seems like you guys are focused on yourself. You got, I, I just feel like with the Two of Swords and the Eight of Cups here, I feel like you're just blocking out new love or that you, you guys are just not ready for new love yet. Well, tell me about the Two of Swords here. All right, we have the Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, right now you just have nothing to give with the uh, Four of Pentacles here and the uh, Ten of Wands. You know, I feel like you're carrying a lot of burdens, you're carrying around a lot of pain, a lot of trauma, and I feel like you're trying to heal from that. With the Four of Pentacles, yeah, you're just keeping your heart space closed off right now. Yeah, I just feel like you're working on your self-love, you know, working on your Pentacles here. Ace of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Swords. There is stress and anxiety surrounding your money here, I feel. You know, I feel like, I, uh, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys want to start you know, something new, you know, whether to buy a new home, whether to move somewhere new, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys are having sleepless nights. A lot of you guys are having a hard time sleeping, um, you know, stressed and anxious, okay? Perhaps having nightmares here. Tell me about the moon. Okay, we have the nine of wands here. So Aries, I feel like you've gone through a lot or that you've been through a lot here, okay? And I just feel like you're starting to move towards calmer waters, okay? Um, tell me about the Six of Swords. All right, we have the King of Wands here. There you are right here. Aries, Leo, Sage. Knight of Wands. And the Hermit here, Virgo energy. So um, Aries, I feel like right now you're doing some soul searching. Yeah. Plain and simple. You're working on yourself. You're working on yourself here. There you are right there. You're trying to get to emperor status or that you're, so, you're sort of maintaining uh, things are in control right now or that you're getting things back into order. 
Yeah, I just feel like right now you're just really tuned into your, your spirituality. I just feel like you're on a, you know, a new path. You're starting over again. More Aries mm -hmm. energy right there with the Hierophant Taurus energy. You know, with the Fool card, it could also be Aquarius. Uh, what are some of the uh, blockages and challenges that Aries is facing in finding love? For May 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What are some of the blocks and challenges for the singles Aries in finding love? We have the Knight of Swords and the World. With the Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Okay. Well, I feel like this is not a bad thing. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys might be traveling around a lot. I feel like you guys maybe don't stay put f for a long time. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Queen of Cups, and a Three of a Three of Swords. I mean, you could have left someone behind, and this person could be lurking around or something like that. Okay, or that you could still be holding space for someone where you know perhaps you left this person behind or that this person broke your heart or something like that this person put you in a third party situation you know with that three of swords you still could be healing your heart over this your heart chakra might be blocked uh, we have the king of pentacles and the ace of swords so i feel like you have strong boundaries with this person here or that you just have strong boundaries or that you're someone here just cuts through the bullshit or something like that I, um, it, it could also mean that you might have very high standards, which is okay too. You know, after all the hurt that you've gone through, you you want to have some standards. You know, you want to do better. You know, moving forward. Uh, tell me about the Knight, the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Worlds, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so five plus two is seven. You know, I feel like you're running from your, your fears also. <sighs> there could be fears of abandonment here, okay? Or that right now, you're just really investing in yourself and that you're not really investing in love. You know, I feel like that, you know, with the Ace of Swords, I feel like you are just really clear about that right now, uh, Aries, okay? Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Okay, we have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. Three of Swords. In the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So this is someone that you could have dealt with in the past or recently. Whoever this is, maybe this is someone here who broke your heart. Whoever this is, maybe someone here kept a secret from you. Maybe the secret was a third party. The third party doesn't have to re be romantic. It could be, but it could be, you know, a work situation. It could be family that was getting in the way. Or it could be someone's bad behavior. You know, I feel like this person was very disconnected from their emotions, okay? Um, tell me about the King of Pentacles here. Why is the King of Pentacles here? All right, we got the Star, Ace of Swords, and the Sun. Yeah, I just feel like you're just focused on yourself right now, Aries. You're focusing on your healing here. You're going through some sort of spiritual awakening, okay? So we have the Star, Aquarius Energy. We got the Sun, Leo Energy. You know, I feel like you're... You know, I feel like a lot of people are, are noticing you, but I just feel like you're just turning these people away. Right now, I, I feel like you just don't have any space right now to bringing new people in your life, okay? Uh, you know, I just feel like you're just perhaps just hanging out with your friends and stuff like that, but I, I just feel like you're going through like a major spiritual transformation here. Um, what else does uh, the singles... Aries need to know what's coming towards the single single Aries. Is there any new love coming towards the singles Aries for May 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for uh, Aries here. What else does Aries need to know? Yeah, but I, I feel like you're just focusing on yourself, focusing on your pentacles, focusing on your own cups, fo focusing on your spirituality here, your spiritual growth, your personal growth here. We have the uh, Judgment card and Justice. We have the Four of Wands and the Six of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Swords. King to Queen of Swords here. You know, I feel like moving forward, I feel like there is no new love coming towards you. You know, I feel like there, you know, it could be a situation that you're still hung up on an ex or an ex is still hung up on you. But, um, you know, I feel like with the 
judgment card and the justice card, you know, this is you ending like maybe a karmic cycle here. Okay, this is you perhaps learning your lessons, but there could be someone that's thinking about you. This is a past person. It's it could be this queen here. You probably had a twin flame connection with this individual. Could be a past life soul tie. And we have the King of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, I mean, there is a potential for new love, but I just feel like you're, you're just not really into it right now, okay? So tell me about Judgment. So Judgment, Sagittarius energy could also be Scorpio, uh, Justice, Libra energy, and uh, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Eight of Pentacles, Justice, Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands, the Lovers, Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, King of Swords, and the Three of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords here. Someone here might be trying to sneak back into your life, whoever this is. It's, I feel like it's this queen. You know, I feel like you're, right now, I feel like you're just really working really hard on clearing out your karma here, okay? Um, bad karma. Um, but I feel like you might be taking, some of you guys might be taking a new job opportunity or something like that, where you guys are working a lot. We have the Four of Wands, Six of Cups, the Lovers, and the Two of Cups here. There's someone that you have a very strong soul tie here with that you're trying to cut those cords with, okay? You know, I, I feel like, you know, I feel like right now you're not, I mean, it's the right thing to do because if you're still tied to someone, there's no possible way that you could make room for someone new. And if you did make room with, for someone new, it's going to be unhealthy because you're still holding space. There is some sort of space being held for this individual. So I feel like you're working on cutting those cords right now. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups and the Three of Wands. I feel like, you know, in the future, you do want a relationship. But right now, I just feel like you're just focusing on you. So... So Aries, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.